guess who's joining us today on the live? None other than Jordan Phillips. Big 9797. Jordan Phillips is joining us today. So if you guys uh, thought this was a game, it's not a game, man. Waiting on the man. Hey. What's up, there man? He is. My, there my, he is. What's good, bro? My, What's good, Pim? Had to put my son down for a nap real quick. Oh, I, I, listen, I know, I know how that goes. I know how that goes. <laughs> how old is your son? How old is he? Uh, two and a half. Oh, that's a good age, man. Yeah, yeah. But, that's a good age. I mean, is that your first? Yep, yep. Oh, man. I got three girls, my guy. Three girls. Three, three girls. How old? Three girls, man. 16, 8, and one's going to be 8 and one's 6. Trust me. Okay. So that two and a half age, love it. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Just putting hey, them right, down. Good, man. I'm good. I'm happy, you know. Oh, you won. I'm happy. It was a great Saturday so far. Bama was just down, but they scored. So we'll see how that game goes. C.D. Lamb. How He's a monster. Him? He's a monster. He's a man. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope I hope I, I'm where where he is next year. C A, I, I see what you just did. I see what you just did there. <laughs> I was I was gonna touch on that, but we might touch on that later on. But here's a question though: since we on OU, you got Jalen Hurts, right? Yeah. My man played at the you know the big old Alabama, made a decision, mm -hmm. and he says, you know what, man, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be, you know, what I mean, playing under or behind. To or can I buy a vowel? So I'm gonna just dip out and do what I do. How do you feel about players that make that decision? I mean, it just depends on it, uh, the situation that they're in. Honestly, he felt like you know they have a star in uh, Tua. Why not? He's a star. You know what I mean? He deserves to be a starter. He deserves to be up for the Heisman. He's gonna win the Heisman. He he knew what he could do, and he went for the perfect system in OU. You know what I mean? We're gonna have a three peat in Heisman's. I don't know if that's ever been done before. Oh shoot! Okay, listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are tuning in right now, it's your boy Rico back at it again with Buffalo Fanatics, joined by none other than Big Nine Seven Nine Seven, aka Snack Daddy. I'm well, hey, whatever y'all want to call me, that's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, cause that three sack game. We haven't had that since the old man on the squad had that three sack game. I know y'all talked about it. Yeah, yeah, Lorenzo. It's a he's he's a hell of a player himself. He's a he's an ageless wonder. Uh, before I got here, when he made the Pro Bowl, I believe, because he was old. And we we're like, where did this guy come from? You know, he plays special teams. He plays defense. He does it all. He's a team captain. He's he's everything you can ask for as a as a mentor as a. Uh, as a, as a leader, and then also as a peer, you know, he gives you everything that you need. Dude, I, I appreciate that because I'll tell you this, man. A lot of Bills fans were like, ah, it's just a special teams player. Uh, it's just a, and then you start realizing, you start hearing this man talk. He's a community man. He's a, he's a yeah. family man. He's just an overall great individual to have in the locker room. So mm -hmm. I'm glad that he's still here with us. Yeah, and, and, and especially for us, I can't speak for every other team, but the Bills have – I wouldn't say there's any special teams players. We have Micah Hyde that plays special teams. We got Jordan Poirier that plays special teams. We got Matt Milano who plays special teams, and he's one of the best backers in the league. We have, you know what I mean? So it's just everybody on this team is selfless. They're going to do whatever we have to do to get this win. Let, let me ask you a question. What is it about Coach Sean McDermott and this thing he's got in this locker room? I, I, I want to say the C word, but I'm going to let you say it. But what is it about this thing that he's got in his locker room that's got you guys just playing lights out? You know, he 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 just does the little things right. Like in most locker rooms, you sit by your position groups, you know, and that's just who it is. You gel with your position group. But in the locker room here, you sit by I sit by Mitch Morris and uh, and Kevin Johnson and, and Isaiah uh, McKenzie. You know, you just he forces you to get to know your teammates, and that's a wonderful thing. We do so many team activities. We do. Uh, family get-togethers. He has our families at practice, so they get the kids get to see what we do. You know what I mean? It's just he does a phenomenal job on everything that he does, and you can really tell he cares about family, and we play for one 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 another. That is amazing. Yo, that's amazing. That's an insight that us fans don't get to understand and hear, right? We read a lot of these pieces out there, but we don't mm -hmm. get this, and this is why Buffalo Fanatics does – we do what we do because this allows players to connect to the fans that – have these questions uh so mm -hmm. i really appreciate you jumping in by the way 
I know this is by week. I know you have family time, so I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to to hit us up and double that. I appreciate you uh, representing us, man. Like you, you out there showing off the brand, the the yeah. BF. Uh, we, we we appreciate that you do that. Honest to goodness. Uh, you know, uh, you guys welcome me with open arms. I can only return the favor. Um, and and like you said, this this is a place where it's really not fans. Once again, it's a, it's a family. Bills Mafia and everything, fanatics. Everybody is just one cohesive unit. It, everybody goes hand in hand, and the games you guys help us win games. So it's just it's just not fans, and that's the biggest thing about Buffalo. It's it, it's really one Buffalo. You know, it, it, it's a great place to be. So, I wanna I wanna ask you some tough questions. Are you good for some tough questions? Yeah, I, I can't okay. promise I'm gonna give an answer, but I I'm no close. no no. Listen, I'm not. We're not gonna get disrespectful. Mm-hmm. It's just questions that yeah. some fans may have and, and insight to uh, some of the players, right? So. Second round pick, if I, if if it if it uh, if I'm wrong, tell, tell me if I'm wrong. No, yep, that's right. Yep, give me one second here. So, here here's the thing I'm question I'm I question here. So, second round pick, uh, it doesn't work out with you in the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. So, you come to the Bills. Then the Bills bring in a rookie in Ed Oliver. The yeah. mindset of a player. How does that? How does that affect you? Does it? Does it bother you? Does it make you feel some type of way? What does it do to the psyche of an NFL player? I mean, I, I can't. I'm not gonna say I'm not. I'm not. But I wasn't butthurt about it. But uh, I know what type of player I am. I know what type of player I can be. And uh, from the get go, from when Kyle announced his uh, retirement, I said I'm the guy. I will be the guy. And if that's coming off the bench. I'm doing a hell of a job off the bench, so that's how I feel about it. We and we appreciate that. How, how tall are you? Six five, six six. Yeah, about six six, yeah. Six six, three forty. Three thirty. Shoot, that's a big fella, man. Like when we when we talk about it as Bills fans, we talk about uh, this this defense that we have, and we feel that we have a and I kid you not, and I and I mean this with all sincerity, a Super Bowl caliber defense. We really do. Mm-hmm. From the D line, from the DTs, to the linebackers, to the defensive backfield, we really have a special defense. What is it that keeps you guys just going? What is what's the what is it? What's the secret? There, there is no secret. It's the way that Sean and Bean and Brandon uh, built this roster. He, I won't, I, I won't say that we have a bunch of nobodies, but we have a bunch of nobodies. B- between Micah Hyde, you know, the Packers let him go. Jordan Porter. The Browns let him go, and then we have an undrafted rookie that's a lockdown corner with Levi Wallace, and then we have our big name uh, Trey White, you know. But still, the league doesn't know about him. And then we got Matt Milano; he he's a he's an All Star. He should have made the Pro Bowl last year. And then we have the freak Tremaine Edmonds. And then after that, we have Saran Neal. We have um, who who else do we have? We got uh, Taron Johnson. And Taron then we got, Johnson, yeah. yeah. And then we and then we got. Uh, we got Trent Murphy, we got Shaq Lawson, we got me, we got Ed, we got Star, we got Kyle Pecco, we had Harry. You know, it, 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 there's there's no drop off in our defense. We have right. a bunch of no names that are that are stars that just people don't know about, and that's the best thing about us. We, and then what comes with that? When nobody has egos, anybody can go out there and make plays. Anybody can have a great day, and nobody feels a certain type of way about it. You know, we're just one one good unit that plays hard for one another. I, and this is the thing, I think that's what, what goes missing is that we as Bills fans, we know this. And we were so confident on that. But it's the outside. And I know players don't care about what the outside is thinking. I'm talking about the media and the other mm-hmm. NFL guys out there. But what do you guys say in the locker room when, and they're talking about, oh, the, the New England Patriots defense. They're a solid defense. The Seattle Seahawks defense. But we're, we're second fiddle. When you guys hear that as a unit, how do you, how, how's the reaction? I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. The numbers speak for itself. Last year, we were a top-ranked defense. This year, we're our top-ranked defense. We're going to continue to do that, and we don't need respect. Buffalo doesn't get respect in any in anything, and that's the best thing about it. We're just hard workers and just get the job done at the end of the day. Man, oh, man, I appreciate it. Listen, gentlemen, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, it's your man Rico, and we are on with the big – I'm going to call you the snack daddy. Snack Daddy is with it right now. Uh, three sacks in the in the game against the Tennessee Titans. Let's go. To, let's let's visit back the Tennessee Titans game. 
Taylor Luan. Yep. And I get it. Linemen have a competitive nature about them. Football players have a competitive nature about them. But when you get the, the, the brakes beat off of you, sometimes you just got to humble yourself. What is with individuals like him in the NFL altogether that just want to chirp still after the game? What's up with that? Uh, you know, Taylor, he, he, is, he is who he is. Um, he, uh, you know, you can't take away from what he's done. He's a, I think he's won three or four Pro Bowls. He was at one point the highest paid lineman. Couldn't tell you why. But, um, you know, he, 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 I guess he does his job well. Um, we've, I played him, I don't know, five times or so. I'm pretty sure my record against the Titans is, or against him, I want to say the Titans is, is probably four and one, five and one, something like that. So, you know, I just, and we've had beef every time we've played. But once again, uh, respect off to him. He's had a, a great career. Uh, just, I guess, not against me. Uh, I, listen, I respect it, and he better recognize because this defense doesn't play around. We have we try to find nicknames for this defense, and it it always always comes back to, I mean, what can we name them? Some it has something to do with something cold, right? So, mm -hmm. cold front is one. Lake effect is another. Is there something y'all call your? I like bill collectors. I like a lot. Um, oh, yeah. Is there a nickname that y'all like that you guys kind of call yourselves in the locker room that we don't know about? No. I, I Honestly, I think we might need to get on that. I didn't even put any thought into it. So I, yeah, I, th I think it's time, man. Bill yeah. collectors, I like it. I like mm -hmm. the bill collectors, but I feel like we need to come. I feel like it needs to come from some of you guys in, in the locker room. Maybe come from us, but we need to find something for this defense because this defense is too good not to have something named after them. I, I just That's just the way I feel. Yeah, we'll get on that. I'll I'll tell the guys that we need to think of something, and uh, I'll let you know. Let's go. Okay, so let's let's flip it to the offensive side of the ball. We know the defense is is rocking it. We have it. We see it. We we as a fan base, we know the potential of this offense. But you guys were there with this team every single day. Oh, you you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are with this team every single day. What is it that us fans should be excited about going? into after the bye week going against the dolphins and going forward what do we should we know that we don't know about this offense yet i mean look, honestly it's hard for me to speak on that side of the ball but the one game we lost um we put up tremendous numbers we and i guess you can say the patriots are the best defense and we just didn't finish and that momentum we have and everything, we have a hell of a quarterback with Josh and a leader and everything that he does, what's there not to be happy about? We got John Brown on the outside. We got Cole Beasley working people in the middle. We got a nasty, nasty, nasty O line up front with uh, Cody, Dion, uh, John. Yeah, John. John's, John's a mauler. He's, he's that boy's a mauler. Yeah, Mitch Morris. And then we got. Ty Spence, you know, Ty and Spence, all, everybody, you know. So it's just, once again, it's just about getting things clicking and getting things moving. And we see it every day. We know how explosive they are. We know everything they can do. And they're, I can't say they're going to get together because they already have. We just got to finish. I like it. And, and as, especially with the defense we have, we just, we, once we can get in sync and we start just rolling, it's going to be a scary thing. So, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick I'm gonna stick on this point. So we know what the defense brings. We know what the offense brings. Now, I kind of want to I want to touch on a few things that some 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 of the fans would love to know. So, you know, we have a very strong fan base. I think yes. the best. There's not there's no question. Nobody mm -hmm. touches us. I think the Bills fans are the best. How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about us when we go to these home games? The away games is mm -hmm. back. Like what do y'all what do y'all feel when you see that? Well, actually, I'll tell you. I'll give you a little quick story. My brother, he's a we're from Kansas, so he's a diehard Kansas City Chiefs fan, and all he talks about is how loud the Kansas City Chiefs are and blah 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 blah. I said, okay, wait till you come to Buffalo and and, and see what Buffalo is about. So his he came to the preseason games. And I said, yeah, it, it was it was kind of loud, but but wait wait till we play Cincinnati and. Uh, he said, you know, I was – he didn't want to admit it, but he's like, I was really shocked about how loud they are. We went to the AFC Championship game last year in Kansas City uh, against the Chiefs – I mean, against the Patriots. And I said, this is nothing. 
you know, we we weren't that great last year, and I'm, and I played in games way louder than this. This is a this is to go to the Super Bowl, and these people are in here quiet. He said, "Well, it's cold." I said, "Well, it's cold every day in Buffalo. And you better believe you better believe they're bringing it every day. It's it's rocking. It's crazy." I could I could have got off off topic there, so you have to answer your ask your question again. But no, but that's fine. Right. It's just the fan base because we have the best fan base, and we're loud as hell, and we travel well. We go away, we go home. It don't matter where we go. The Bills fans mm -hmm. they represent everywhere. I don't know if you know this, man. I'm from Canada, and there are a boatload of us in mm -hmm. Canada that take the trip every single home game and come out and visit. So this this Bills teams, Bills Mafia, Bills Nation, we're everywhere. So it's dope to yeah. see. Yeah, and, and it is, especially in uh, in Tennessee. It was crazy. The they almost had to go to a silent count in the game because it was so loud. It was it was incredible. We came off the sideline and said, you know what? Let's get these guys going because we need them. And, and sure enough, they came through for us. And there was barely any hard counts at a at a at a away game, and that's just unheard of. And that 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 is crazy. Did you did you happen to have a sip of Tennessee whiskey? I didn't. I'm not a big oh, drinker. Man. I know, I know. I should have. <laughs> you should have had a little sip, a little something, something. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I do want to ask you this, though. This is something I, 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 this is a personal question for me. You have, like, top media people that, you know what I mean, have the journalism jobs and they have the media jobs and all that stuff. And then you have the lower tier, right? Both yeah. fanatics and all these other guys that are out there. Do you, do you players pay attention more to the, the local stuff, the national stuff? The fan things. What 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 part do you guys pay attention to more? Because I ask that question because there's a lot of up and coming, like Buffalo fanatics mm -hmm. that are trying to get their names out there. But are are players paying attention to the little guys, or is it just the guys up top? Uh, I don't mean this any dis disrespectful type of way. By all means. But I feel like, like you said, you're you're a, a more of a littler guy, and that's where you get the best content from because. You get you guys post everything that they they say. There's no point of following a bunch of reporters and stuff when you can just follow you guys and you guys give us everything we need. So I I, I, I respect I, that, and and that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. Like a lot of the guys, a lot of fans like ourselves don't want to listen to the the WGRs, and I'm not even from that area, so I don't mm -hmm. want to speak ill of that. But they don't want to listen yeah. to that because of the toxic. Uh, silliness that happens and fans we just speak from the core from the from the love so we see what we what's out there yeah. and we post it and we talk about it um yeah. and we appreciate and i appreciate you saying that because a lot of the littler guys right mm -hmm. us and humps and trying to make things happen and we always wonder do these players are are they listening are they watching which is nice to it's nice to hear um so ladies and gentlemen we are on with snack daddy uh phillips joan phillips here with us um listen man we're in the bye week uh Dolphins are next. Do yeah. you have a little spice for the Dolphins when we come out and play them, or is it another game? Uh, I mean, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't just because of how things went and everything. But, um, uh, wow. Yeah, I'll just leave it with that. Uh, <laughs> Yo, you know what? Let me, let me speak on your behalf. We're ready to squish the fish. We don't play games. We're not play games. A lot of mm -hmm. people are talking about, oh, this could be a trap game. Do you believe in trap games? Uh, trap games are for people that aren't prepared, and we're one of the most prepared teams in the in the league. And uh, once again, we're ready for anybody that comes out anywhere, any place. We'll be there and ready to play. I love it. I love it. every every single every one of these things. So I'm before we take off because I don't. I'm no. I'm grateful for your time with us. Um, I'm going to just take a few questions from the fans because. A lot of fans have questions, so I'm going to scroll through. If you guys okay. have questions right now, please jump in and ask. I'm going to try to pick one of the nice questions that's out there, and we'll go from there. We'll ask uh, Jordan Phillips a few questions as we go. By the way, as I'm scrolling through, did you want to plug anything? Do you have any merch coming out? Do you have any um, anything that's out there, charities or whatnot, that you want to tell the people about? No, I really don't have anything. I'm just focused on football right now. You know, I'm not – I don't feel like I'm in a place to be doing a bunch of extracurricular stuff. I got to – I just gotta be good on the field, and the rest of the stuff's gonna come. I was, I want somebody asked somebody wanted me to ask you, what the heck is there to do in Kansas? You're from Kansas. Kansas? What, what is there in Kansas? I mean, I love Buffalo, but what's there to do in Buffalo? I'm not from Buffalo, so <laughs> <no>. <laughs> no. but I got you. <laughs> no, uh, Kansas. All, all I really do is golf. Um, big golfer. Uh, there's, it's also a big bowling scene here, so I bowl a lot. Um, hang out with my son, a lot of fishing. Um, 
That's really about it. Who's the, who's your best friend on the team? Uh, you know, I probably couldn't say just one person. We're 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 a really tight group, especially in the D line. We all hang out every week. We all go to dinners together. So it's just whenever you need somebody, somebody's gonna be there. So to say I have one particular best friend, I can't say that. There you go. What's your handicap? Somebody wants to know what's your handicap. Oh, I can't tell you right now. I'm still I'm still working. <laughs> still I'm, working. Not, I'm not even putting it out there. But my brother is a zero handicap. Damn. Okay. Um, oh, okay, here's one for you. Who's the? I asked Dion Dawkins who the funniest guy on the team was. He told me Shaq Lawson. True or false? I'd probably say true. Him and Isaiah McKenzie are right, right there, back and forth with each other. They are, and they come to work with a smile on their face every day. So it's just hard not to be happy when you're around those two guys. Okay. Um, I I asked Dion Dawkins this question last time too. I said the best dressed on the team. I here I remember I remember who he told me. I want to know if you agree with him. It's me. <laughs> oh shoot. He said he's the best dressed. You best dressed? Obviously you guys haven't seen my suits. So you you <laughs> you fitted and dripped. One hundred percent. I'm the best. Me and Jordan Poyer. Best You dressed. and Jordan Poyer. Yeah. Because he told me it was at the time Ray Ray. It was Ray Ray McLeod and Saman oh. Neal. Well, Ray Ray is up there, but he's not on the team, so he's with yeah. the Panthers. So, yeah, I'd give what Ray Ray up there. Yeah. He, he, no. No. I'm, no. No, I'm way above Saran. So, that's how I feel about so y'all, it. Y'all play Madden. Yeah. Um, if you guys play Madden, who, who's the Madden champ in the locker room? Uh, I'm trying to think who actually plays. Shady was a big Madden player. The running back rooms was. I don't play much video games. Uh no. But I think I think Shaq. Yeah, I can't really answer that question. There you go. Um, we've seen Kyle, and this is another question coming from Richard. It says Kyle Williams has been around the locker room, has been around and 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 peeping certain things. Um, how do you feel? How do you guys feel about when Kyle Williams comes around and and chats up with you guys? I mean, it's always nice to to have Kyle back. He uh, obviously played at a high level for a long time. He is a great guy for Ed to be around and. Uh, and yeah, he when he's back, he helps us, and when he's not there, we don't miss a beat either. So it it is nice just to get a, a fresh pair of eyes and an older older set of eyes, uh, and just figure out some of the things that he did and didn't do or didn't want to run when when we played him. And that's just kind of how we go about that. Who has been your biggest influence uh, growing up around the league, maybe around the league right now? Uh, who you looked up to? Uh, you know. Uh, boy, uh, I'd probably say Nadam Um mm. He is a phenomenal man. He's a phenomenal player. Um, he, we had our differences. We had everything about it, but still, to this day, I appreciate everything that he's done for me. And he, in a weird way, he helped me grow up more than anybody else else has. So. Uh, like I probably have to say, Sue. I appreciate that. I like that. That's a good answer. Um, I will ask you this though. On this team, um, there's a whole bunch of personalities. Uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, different individuals, backgrounds, and so on and so forth. Uh, what does Jordan Phillips bring to this defense as a player that cannot re- cannot be replaced? That's unique to you. And what do you bring to this? team as a personality that can't be replaced that's a tough question but i want i'm curious to see where you're at so as a player and as a person what is it that you bring that can't be replaced that's jordan phillips and that's it uh my juice um everybody knows when i'm on the field regardless if i'm having a a big day or just you know out there doing my job i'm out there getting the crowd fired up out there trying to have a fun time and people feed off but sometimes i don't want to do it and I get tired from doing it, but it gets everybody going. And, uh, and you know, I, I, I wouldn't say I'm a bully, but uh, I don't uh, – they know if something happens, who to come to. So, oh, shit. So, it's you know, what I, mean? I wouldn't say – I wouldn't take it that far, but you know what I mean? It, uh, we, we, they know who to come to. They go, yeah, they go to we big get, ropes. Yeah, we get stuff done when it needs to get done. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I respect that. I respect that a lot. Um, I got one more question for you, and I'm going to let you go, and I'm really gracious that you gave us the time here. 
Um, I I like my I like myself some wings. Wings mm -hmm. are delicious. Uh, do you dip your wings in anything? And what and what what are, what do you dip it? In? I'm a blue cheese guy. Blue cheese. I, I wasn't okay. a, I wasn't a blue cheese guy before I got here. I was a big ranch guy. Okay. But, but when I cheese. but when I got ranch, everybody just looked at me funny. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make myself like blue cheese. So, uh, blue cheese guy, blue honey cheese. honey mustard and hot mixed together. Okay. Shout out, shout out to Shaq Lawson. He's the one that brought that to the team. It's my favorite wings, wing okay. sauce. It's it's wonderful. But yeah, blue cheese. Um, how do you feel about dipping your wings in sour cream? I've never tried it, but I'm a oh, fat shit. guy, so, so I'll Let try it. I, I dip my wings in sour cream, man. Um, okay. And people make people look at me like they looked at you when you said you did it in ranch. So <laughs> try yourself this: uh, a little bit of uh, sour cream with some hot sauce. Stir, stir it up like like, up. like 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 you know, <laughs> with a mac and cheese. Yep. You're good to go, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, I'll try. It. I'm gonna send you a video of it too. I, I respect that, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Rico with the man, the only snack daddy, aka the Goon Squad uh, <laughs> from the Buffalo Fanatics and Buffalo Bills. Um, listen, Jordan Phillips, I appreciate your time. Your time is valuable, and I appreciate you coming out and showing support to the Buffalo Fanatics. You've been a day one since day one, and we appreciate that, and you will always, always, always have the respect um, and the support of the Buffalo Fanatics. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Until next time, it's your boy, and I'm gone. All right, Thank appreciate you, it. Thank you. All right, take All right. care. Ladies and gentlemen, that's that. We out. We did it. Jordan Phillips took the time to come out and chat it up with the Buffalo Fanatics. So if you guys are just tuning in right now and uh, don't know what just happened, hit that back on the replay. We're going to post this back up on YouTube. Uh, check that out on YouTube. And until next time, man, we out.